Hello guys and welcome to a video where we see if we can make Northumberland the greatest country in the British Isles. Now there's a sort of running joke in England of the North and South divide. The South being a lot more economically well off and the North being somewhat left behind with all financial investment going into the heart of London. But today I want to change that. I want to make Northumberland the greatest country the British Isles has ever seen. So without further ado, let's get into the video and see if we can make that happen. I could bankrupt England, but I'm going to play this fairly and we're just going to release Northumberland as it is now. And here we are, here's Northumberland. We also have our own Northumberland ideas. I don't think any of these ideas are actually that good. Port maintenance minus 15%. At least they have their own ideas, but they're really not anything to write home about. Northumberland sadly doesn't have its own mission tree as well. I would like them to have some sort of northern mission tree, but alas they don't. I've also never seen this before. 100% of the land is controlled by you. We can also build our Fort Slim up to four. France has no knowledge of me, or they would have supported my independence. There is actually as well a York independence movement. I'm not going to lie, but I don't think it's that popular. At least they have their own flag, and it's quite nice. It's like a white rose. And we've got our first troop. Oh, are we fighting? France is fighting. Oh, that's cool. Nefondland has got its own unique uh, character as well. I think this has all been added in the Royal Britannia update, but I'm not entirely sure. The question is, will the North become independent, or will it remain under English overlordship? Or without doubt, we're def England's definitely losing this war. I think the moment we get someone to support our independence as well, it all really lines up. Oh, and also, it seems like they're also in a civil war now as well, England. Oh, Burgundy will also support independence. So this this is really it. We have a year. I think Burgundy and Scotland on my side will really, really help. Okay, we've got our first support independence, and we need minus two. I mean, the good news is we are much more stronger just with Burgundy, but we would ideally want Scotland to help on the mainland. Offaly, Linster, and Burgundy. So that, we have more men, but they have more men on the island, so it's a little awkward. I won't lie to you, lads, but we might be able, we might have to do it. I think we can do it, though, lads. I think we go for independence. Call in Burgundy. Let's see what happens. Pause there. I don't know if we want to go in there. Oh, we have to go in there. Should get advisor, maybe. Oh, we just made it, lads. We just made it there. We're going to be losing a lot of money, guys. And I'm telling you now. Stack wipe. Is that not a stack wipe? Oh, it is. Okay. Let's uh, go to Gloucester and retreat because we can't deal with the amount the amount of rebels that are around here. No! Oh, God, please. Survive, survive, survive. Go okay, get out there, get out there. A little low on troops now, but that shouldn't be a problem. Burgundy is not really helping one bit. <laughs> Can they take on Portugal for me or something? Uh, we're we're going to be indebted to the burgers as well. I think we need to be indebted to the burgers. Always a good one when you're when you're low on money. Only thing we can do is wait. This is why we probably needed Scotland, just so we had a bigger force. To slowly siege around. Oh, jeez! No! We were caught! We are caught! We are caught! We are caught! We are caught! At least they're mercenaries. Oh, my days! We, they were saved. They were saved somehow. Who are we fighting? <laughs> He's there. No one's there. Oh jeez, I didn't see that. I didn't see the army. I think I just have to wait, really. There's not. I can't take on 40,000 troops or their, or their troops, so we're just gonna have to wait. If only we had Scotland to support my independence. Good news is we're taking... Oh jeez, jeez, okay, quick. Oh my days, what? What? Oh what? We didn't win. We didn't win. That oh gee, okay, run back. <laughs> run away. <laughs> Let's run to hole. Get out of here quick. Independence. Minus 29. Like what else is there to do except just just siege some of these down? What's our what is our fort? That's a level three at least. That that does help us a bit. Just need to keep sieging down. If we somehow get independence here, that will be a miracle. But it's it's going to be hard. And pray pray we can get enough war score. Minus six. This is a race against time, lads. Minus one. Yes, we can get independence. We can get our independence from England. Guys, I don't know how it's gone so well, but we're doing it now. We're just going to siege all the way down here. We don't have we don't have a choice. 35%, minus 35%. 
this level 3 fort has saved, saved me beyond belief. It's a reason why we're alive and we've got 20 war score because of it all. It's 14%. I think we peace out now. We peace out now. Let's get war operations from England, because why not? And then money. The North has gotten its independence with 4,000 men. What's our loan situation like? We have 100 ducats worth of loans. Our manpower has actually recovered quite well, in fact, as well. So that's really good. But we're now our own independent kingdom, beating England with 4,000 men against 25,000. We lost our, like, cool Northumberland character. Now we're English. What a shame. How are we meant to be England, though? I don't know if we... I mean, our main goal is London. That's the goal of this campaign. But whether we get it or not, we'll have to see. We have a truce until 1463. So five years. We've got five years to build up. Have more troops. I think we go for it. Let's take out Meath. Come on, guys. Let's do this. Oh, would you have to build up our, our navy? Oh, my days. Okay. Well, I didn't plan this properly. So our first three ships are being built now. Oh, the Navy game. I, maybe I need just to think a bit more clearly about what I wanted from Ireland. The question is, do we wait or do we go for it? I think we might we might go for it here. If we crossed, minus two penalty. We can't we can't deal with that. Hey, we're making money. <laughs> from all the war operations, we are making money, which is always always nice to see. All for all for one province this as well. It's just all for one province. And and we're about to lose my war operations. So this might be the only way to do it. But it's 5,000 against 9,000. That's more promising. Oh, well, peace out. And there we have it. There we have it, lads. We finally have done it. England definitely funded my navy, though. <laughs> Without doubt. Without England, no, no chance. So the north has taken its first province in Ireland. And we now have 20 ducats. I think we're going to start our conquest of Ireland in order to gain a bit more strength and after that we'll go for England so that's sort of the plan now so I reckon we declare war now and we go for we, we take take these two well I have to admit I we'll see we'll see if we can continue this uh, it's definitely harder than I, I thought it would be surprised England hasn't attacked me as well I get some growing in power and, and all that so maybe they're, they're cautious and another third province in Ireland we're building up our Irish Empire. <laughs> oh, they won't come in. Yep, let's do this. Very quick. I don't, is man part of Scotland? I thought it was always part of England, but maybe not. I think Ireland's the way to go to begin with, and then after we we get a bit bigger, we then go for go for England. Renaissance is in Northumberland, is it? Let us read that right. Oh, I probably need to embrace this a bit more. <laughs> Where did our navy go? I feel like our navy just vanished. So I, you know what? You always forget about the navy sometimes. Does anyone else get that? I, you always forget how good the, where, where your navy's gone because you just it's just so relevant in the game in the grand scheme of things. So what ideas do we want? I suppose economic is always a good option. Considering we are always going to be struggling a little bit because of the economic situation we're in, we're only getting Irish provinces. It might it might be worth it. All right, three, two, one. Yeah, going after my level three fort. We'll go after their level one fort and then just decent them out. Oh, decent! They don't have enough. I guess perfect for me then. How many times? Finally, I took about five times. More rebels. I actually can't deal with them right now. I'm, I'm, there's so many rebels everywhere. Our manpower's absolutely gone. <laughs> How did my navy die? I, I must, I've got to go back and look at the footage as well for that. Maybe we just cut our losses here? I think so. I think we just cut our losses. Uh, and then we'll, we'll fight another day. We've sort of conquered quite a lot of Ireland though. So I guess that's, that's the positive. But... England's just staring at the face. I haven't set my goal to what I want, which is to take England and to take it out quickly. Um, the problem is England's just so powerful. It's it's unlikely. Offaly, Leinster, Castile and Portugal. I guess we can fight Leinster. 
we have so many favors we could even just ask to prepare for war and then that's that's enough but we we want to build up our, our troops a bit i think we fight england you know guys i think we fight england through leinster so that's how we're gonna fight we're gonna fight england through leinster in terms of renaissance still not at all got it but that's okay but we're finally recovering a bit so that's why it's nice to see we haven't recovered for a long long time Oh, finally, guys, we, we finally uh, have gotten what we desire, which is positive manpower. I didn't think I'd see that again. Vermiltech 6, War Mailtech 8. But we're really ahead of Miltech. Oh, crap. Oh, what? We, oh, I forgot about the Cassus Belli. That could be quite crucial, actually, because obviously we're two Miltechs ahead of England, so fingers crossed it's okay. Oh, this is that, that might have cost us, guys, but we'll have to see. Here we go, lads. Okay. We should win this. We've got one cannon more. Uh, we've got similar amount of troops, actually, so this is going to be very, very close. Oh, we've got a two-star general. That's great, actually. Let's go march. Take... Oh, so we've gotten rid of that four. Well, let's just take this four, then. We've got time. Look at that, lads. Look at that. Scotland, what are you doing? What are you doing? Take them out. Scotland, take them out. Oh my days, Scotland, why? Oh jeez. Oh no, 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 no. Um or Miltech Ron. We've got a higher Miltech. I don't see why we can't beat them, given the fact we've got a higher Miltech. Come on, win it, win it, come on. So they have we've got better morale. Siege down, the siege down everywhere, guys. Come on, come on. Yes, Scotland, you legends. Scotland are doing all the work for me now. Oh, guys, it's nerve wracking. I don't know where England have. I don't know where England's gone, but we're doing, we're doing well. We're doing it now. Oh, oh my days! Look at that. Four, three, five, two. That is, that is what we want. But the capital's the real prize here. What is England doing? We're just, we're doing absolutely nothing now, England. <laughs> they're in shock that London's being sieged siege of London is over oh that's that's crucial that is crucial I think England, what, what is England doing? they're doing absolutely nothing now this is a glitch AI glitch well we're just casually sieging England England's clueless they don't know what to do oh jeez okay right we'll peace out with England now yes lads look at that I think we're going to call that a victory and we're going to stop the video here and I think we've proven that Northumberland has taken out the South. If you want a part two, let me know in the comments. And thank you guys for watching. Uh, clearly Northumberland's actually quite a fun campaign if you haven't done it already. So um, let me know in the comments what you think, uh, what you enjoyed, what you didn't enjoy. And I'll see you guys soon. Goodbye for now. Shout out to our Patreons. J Erickson321, Shadowsinger, Jado52, Cargan, Flyerton, Henrique. Redguard76, Xiaomi, and Charlie Demorel. Your support means a lot, guys.